What's up, guys? It's Connor. You're bringing you a MOAB and some ground war. Funny thing, though, I was playing ground war because I was like, you know what? I want a quicker MOAB for you guys. And so I'm in ground war right now playing some kill confirmed. This is like the longest MOAB of all time, even though I'm trying to rush, guys. But it's whatever. It's an MOAB. It was my fifth one. I've got a few more than that now, but um yeah i've just been playing quite a bit of call of duty right now um i don't know sorry this is late this is late i know i know i'm late oh my goodness i can't believe it but this was late because i was super busy i was in chicago on new year's eve then went to see my grandma in the hospital on new year's day so here we go it's monday i may be able to put this up now so sorry for being a little bit late but this might be this will probably be my last commentary before school starts again which is wednesday or wednesday depending on where you're from around the country i don't know what you say and yeah i've got quite a few games stacked up hopefully i'll get a couple more gameplays stacked up i got quite a few moabs for you guys i can get moabs about every single day now sometimes two in a day so i'm doing all right in that respect so i'll have plenty of gameplays for you guys to last you throughout the rest of the school year until summer starts so let's get into this guys forget the moab guys we are talking about pride today and it is written pride now kind of what is pride you know what i'm gonna tell you what pride is pride or arrogance it's also known as arrogance okay whatever i'm, <laughs> I'm telling you what it means right now pride is overly self-respectful okay i wrote that <laughs> that sounds weird let me let me put this in a different way too much self-respect Something causing you to be proud or conceited. And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Connor, I'm still in junior high. What are you doing, man? I don't know what conceited. What is this word? <laughs> um, conceited is the same thing as prideful. Prideful, conceited, arrogant, um, stuff like that. It's where you think too too much about yourself. You're like, you know what? I'm better than all of you guys. It's not confidence. Confidence is something completely different. But I'll get into confidence on next week. That's what I'll do next week. Great idea. Great idea. We'll do confidence next week. And then the week after that, I'll compare and contrast the two of them. But something pride is when you... When you're like, oh yeah, guys, I'm so much better than you. You know those people that walk with their nose like straight up in the air? I'm sure you've seen that on TV. Or those really snotty rich people. They just have their nose like, no offense if anybody's rich. And <laughs> not all rich people are snotty. But I mean, that's a common, like, you know what I'm saying, uh, stereotype. Um, so... It's, it's kind of like that. It's like, it's not, you're not confident. It's not like, oh yeah, I can do this. You're kind of like, yeah, I'm way better than everyone here. All these people should bow down, kiss my feet, lick my toes, all that stuff. You're just like, I'm way better than everyone here. Now, a prideful person, if being prideful is not good, not good. Confidence, kabam, awesome. Pride, no kabam, bad, not good at all. Pride, an arrogant person or prideful person will often neglect to acknowledge the weaknesses in light of playing up to your strengths. So if you're arrogant, you're like, you're going to keep um, going away. If you say you can't run very fast, but you're the fastest swimmer of all time. And someone's like, well, you want to race? You're like, no, running, running's stupid. Let's swim. Let's do swimming. That's what real people do. And you go and swim and you do that just because you're like, well, I can't run. I don't want them to know I'm no good at running. How about we go swim and they'll think I'm a beast because I'm a greatest swimmer out there. And you'll, it's, it's something like that. You just think, um, instead of playing to what you're not good at, instead of doing something you're not good at, you don't want anybody to know you're not good at stuff. You only want people to see only the good things you can do. So since you're a great swimmer, you only want this, you only want the people to see that you're great swimming. You don't want to see them that you can't run to save your life. You're just too busy eating donuts and stuff. <laughs> um, they just like, yeah, you just play to what your strong, what your strengths are. Never, never let anybody see your weaknesses at all. A prideful person will ignore their weaknesses, only play up areas of strength, but they do so because of an Ill inability to come to terms with your weakness. So you don't want to come, you don't want to accept that you suck at running. You don't want, you don't want to realize. I mean, you already know you're no good at running, but you don't want. Other people know you don't want you don't want to come to terms with that weakness. You don't want to be like you know what I accept that I can't run. You're like no 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 no. No one's gonna know I can't run. They're only gonna know I can swim. You're not gonna accept the fact that you're not a good runner. You're only a good swimmer. You're only accepting the fact that hey I'm a great swimmer. I can't run. No one else is gonna know about that. But I can swim like a monster. I don't even know why I'm doing running and swimming. But we're going on with it. So you're just completely downplaying that fact. You're. You're not coming to, you're not accepting the fact you can't run at all. You're just like, nope, not accepting it. 
they're not going to know this. A prideful person tends to brag and put others down in an attempt to be the best or to come out as the coolest. Now, this is the biggest part. This is the stuff everybody hates. Someone that, that's just like, ha, you suck. I can I destroy you at basketball or swimming. I'm so much better than you. You guys are no good. I'm like the best swimmer in the country, in the freaking world. I'm like Michael Phelps of high school swimming guys i am i'm a pro and you'd be like yeah too bad you suck at swimming you say that to someone else because you want to be the coolest you want to everybody knows someone that's just annoying because they think they're the greatest putting other people down they think they're so cool but they're really not and everyone else knows that but they don't know that guys as a prideful person is crazy annoying it's just like shut up dude we don't care what you think you're good at now um Pride is bragging about yourself, but confidence means you can believe you get the job done. So prideful is you're just saying, oh yeah, I'm the greatest. Confidence is just, you're quiet. You just be quiet. You just go. You let your actions show what you can do. Now, um, I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, conceited or a prideful person has low self-esteem and showcases what he feel he what he feels to be security. He showcases what he feels to be superior qualities to prove his worth to himself and the other. So again, you're only showing what you're good at. You're only showing the things you're great at so that other people will be like, oh, he must be good at everything. Everything I've ever seen him do is good, but you, they've never seen you run or if you're no good at soccer or football, they've never seen you do that. They've only seen you run. Or they've only seen you swim and play basketball. The two things you're great at. And they're just like, well, he must be good at everything. Because the only things I ever see him do is he's good at. And that's because you only want them to see that. You don't want them to know that you're not good at anything. Um, prideful people may subconsciously look down on themselves. Which can translate into negative interpersonal skills. Such as callous, self-centered behavior. That can be off-putting to others. So you, you might be subconscious about the fact that you can't run. You might be like... Oh man, I can't run, but I don't want people to know this. This is that's weird. They'll think I'm stupid. So then now you become now if anybody says anything about your running, you're like, well, I've never seen you run before, Anthony. You're like, you know what? Who cares if I can run? I demolish you in swimming, and you just completely like play it off. You just you get angry towards them so that they won't say anything more about it. You're like, you give them that look. You're like, yeah, I'm about to freaking destroy you if you don't shut up. And it's something. It's kind of like that. Now, a prideful person is more concerned with themselves since conceit is being is based on placing yourself above others. So you're very you're prideful. You're very self-centered, which is a big big thing. But that deserves a whole another week of topics and whatnot. But you're you're only focused on yourself. You're only um you're only based on you're not gonna if someone say someone makes a game-winning three for basketball, you'd be like, yeah, well. Pfft. He made that one shot. It was a lucky shot, but I scored all the points that game. Who cares what he did? You're, you're not coming to facts. You're not like, yeah, that was a great shot, bro. You are beast. That was a sweet shot. So happy you win that. Instead, you're just like, yeah, whatever. Lucky shot. He got lucky. I was the one scoring all the points there. I gave him the perfect pass. He wouldn't have made it if I wouldn't have gave him that pass wide open. You're, you're that kind of guy. You don't give anyone credit for anything, which is just annoying. Give credit where credit is due. One of the most, everybody has heard that before, and that is so true. You're not, you, ah, dude, just don't put yourself above others, dude. Think of others above yourself the whole time, guys. Congratulate someone on something good they did, and then don't, if you do, if you hit that game-winning shot, don't go around bragging about it. Let someone else, someone that was there, come up and be like, dude, you see that shot that Connor hit? Yeah, that was sweet, man. And then they'll come up and they'll be like, great shot, Connor. You don't have to go around and be like, yes, yes. You take like your stand. You, you grab the microphone off the little announcer's table and you're just like, heck yeah, you see that shot, guys? That was pure skill. And you're just announcing it to the school. You go to the announcements and you announce over announcements. Oh, I hit the game when you shot. I'm the greatest person here. Blah, blah, blah. You don't, pff, who cares, dude? Just let other people, let other people talk good about you. You don't have to talk good about yourself. Now, what's, what's God have to say about prideful? The fear in, in Proverbs 8.13, it says, The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil. Pride and arrogance and the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. So the fear of the Lord is hatred of evil. So if you fear God, then you hate evil. Pride, arrogance, and the way of evil and perverted speech the Lord hates. He hates it. It says if you fear Lord, then you hate evil. So you hate what God hates. God hates pride, arrogance, 
and perverted speech, guys, which is crazy. Everyone talks pervert at school. It's annoying. It happens, but God hates it. Says it right here. Jeremiah 50, 32 says, The arrogant one will stumble and fall with no one to raise him up. And I will set fire to a city and devour, de uh, blah, 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 and devour all his environs. So an arrogant one, you'll stumble, you'll fall, you won't be lifted up. You're, you're falling down on yourself, dude. You're going down, 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 all the way down. It's like falling down the stairs, guys. Nothing good will come out of it. You cannot, the arrogant one will stumble and fall. What else do you need to know? Arrogant, stumble, fall, not good. 1 Samuel 2, 3, this is the last one we got time for. Do not keep talking so proudly or let your mouth speak such arrogance. For the Lord is a God who knows and by him deeds are raised. So even if you go out and you announce to the world that you're the greatest person ever, God saw what happened. God knows everything that happened. Even if you downplay that you can't run or whatever and you don't say anything about it, God knows you can't run. And if you hit that game winning shot and you don't say anything about it, God knows you hit that shot. If you give money to the homeless, God knows you did that. You don't have to go out and tell everyone you did it so that they can praise you because God knows you did it. And that's the only thing that matters, guys. So remember, pride, boom, not good, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll see you guys later and have a good rest of winter break, guys. See you later. Adios.